Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve this hair look, how I got this makeup look. So I'm gonna show you guys how I colored the hair, how I style the hair, and I'm also gonna show you guys how I did my makeup today because I asked you guys on Snapchat, on Instagram, if you want me to include my makeup in the hair videos and everyone said yes. So this is the look that I'm doing for you guys today. So if you wanna see how I achieve all of this, then please continue to watch. All right, so this is the wig that I'm gonna be coloring today. I made this wig off camera. I do have videos on how I make my wigs, so I will link that in the description bar down below. And the hair that I'm using is from West Kiss, and this is their 613 Body Wave hair. I'll also include that in the description bar down below as well. All right, so the colors that I'm using today is the Sunrise Orange and the Ginger, and these are semi-permanent hair colors from Adore. I really, really love their products. And you guys, I'm gonna be mixing these two together. So I'm using two of each. I actually did a test. So I tested on a strand of hair, a weft I should say, just to see how the color would come out. And that's the result, I really like it. So I'm just gonna apply this into a mixing bowl. And I'm not really measuring anything to be honest. I'm just pouring half a bottle of each of the product and that white stuff you see me using right there, it's conditioner. So uh, the Adore products, they're really watery and runny, so I just want to thicken it up a bit, so I put some conditioner in it. Uh, you can use any conditioner as long as it's white. Now as for my frontal, I want to protect my frontal before I color this hair because I don't want to ruin the lace. I'm not about to risk it and ruin the lace. So I apply some got to be hair gel all over the lace frontal and some got to be free spray. You can let this air dry or you can go ahead and use the blow dry and dry. So you guys, I'm protecting the lace frontal because I'm not doing the watercolor technique even though it's so much easier and I wanted to do it. But I don't want you guys to get sick and tired of me doing the watercolor technique. So I'm gonna be protecting the frontal for that main reason. All right, so I'm just gonna clip the hair out of the way and comb through it and start off with small sections and I'm just going to apply that hair dye all over the hair and I'm using a brush. Make sure you're wearing gloves because you don't wanna get this all over your fingers. And I'm starting from the root and I'm not taking it all the way down to the ends. I'm just gonna leave the ends blonde because we are gonna go in with another color as well. So just leave the ends blonde. We're going for that ombre effect today. As I apply the hair color, I'm also gonna go in with my comb and just make sure that all the hair color is being distributed to the hair. And again, just leave the ends blonde. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some aluminum foil. I just wanna get that hair out of the way and protect it from the other uh, layer of hair that I have to color. I don't want the hair touching each other because as I mentioned before, we're leaving the tips blonde because we're gonna go ahead and apply another color afterwards. So I'm basically repeating the same steps. So we're just gonna start from roots and take it all the way down, but not all the way down to the very tip of the hair. So I'm just stopping right there, right there. <laughs> now before you guys ask me, the watercolor technique is a lot easier than this okay it's faster it's easier i could have had this done in two minutes but we're going the long route here today okay and i'm actually using more products than i would if i did it watercolor if i did the watercolor i wouldn't need to use this much product um so yeah <laughs> anyways i'm gonna go ahead and color the frontal so when you're coloring the frontal you want to make sure that you are taking your time with the brush don't go too heavy-handed because again even though we protect the lace you do not want to get the color all over your lace frontal because if your frontal gets coloring all over it it's going to be a hot mess to take out if you guys want me to do a video on how to remove stains from frontal please comment down below Yes, we're almost done coloring this wig, you guys, and I'm gonna leave it on for about 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna go ahead and wash that coloring out. We're in my kitchen, the lighting is crap because I was filming late at night. All right, so now we're gonna create that ombre effect. We're gonna use the Kiss Colors Tintation Flaming Orange and the Adore orange blaze and I'm gonna mix these together and yes I'm gonna be doing the watercolor technique because ain't nobody got time for 
all of that. So I just mix it up in a bowl and I'm just gonna apply all that dye into some hot water. If you haven't seen my watercolor videos, I will link them in the description bar down below. It'll be more detailed. But yeah, I'm just going to put the wig into the water and I'm just gonna let it sit for about a minute until the ends turn into that fiery red orangey color that I am going for and that's pretty much the color that I'm going for you guys. And you guys, I'm doing this in sections, so I'm just putting small sections of the hair into the watercolor dye, and I'm just gonna leave it in there for about a minute. So I don't leave it in there for very long at all, and this is what the end results look like. I pretty much did this all within like maybe two to three minutes. And this is what my hair looks like when it is styled. Well, it's not styled as yet. I just blow dry it and straighten it. And I didn't apply my wig on camera because I also have videos on how I apply my wigs. So you guys can check out those videos. But today I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve this makeup look right here. And I'm also gonna show you guys how I style the hair later on in the video. All right, so let's get started on the makeup. Hi Simba, he's just sitting there like, he doesn't even care that I'm filming, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows first. I always do this first. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil in the shade, um, I don't even know what shade this is. I think this is like dark brown, I think. And then I'm gonna go in with some concealer that is a couple shades lighter than my skin tone. Hi Simba, just walking by, like I said, he just doesn't care. And it's a couple shades lighter than my skin tone and I'm just using this to carve out my brows. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that same concealer. Mm-hmm, yes yeah, Simba, just continue to interrupt me and I'm using the same concealer to apply this all over my eyelid and it's going to act as a base for our eyeshadow then I'm gonna go in with some translucent powder and this is just gonna set the concealer and lock it into place all right so we are gonna move on to eyeshadow I'm gonna use the dose of color Desi X Katie eyeshadow palette Francation palette and I'm gonna use the eyeshadow necessary and I'm just going to put that into my crease as a transition shade all right, so moving right along, I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions Eyeshadow Palette. It's my first time using this palette, and I freaking love the colors. I love these warm tones, and I'm gonna grab that orangey shade, and I'm just gonna place it at the outer corner and then pull that into the crease. The brushes that I'm using, uh, this brush is by Jaclyn Morphe Collection Brush. I'm just gonna put all the brushes in the description bar down below because I might forget to mention them. All right, so going back into that palette, I'm gonna grab this dark chocolatey brown eyeshadow shade. It's so gorgeous, it's perfect for fall, and I'm just gonna place this at the outer corner as well and pull that into the crease to make the crease a little bit more defined, and we're just going to blend that eyeshadow until we get rid of that harsh line. All right, going back into the palette, I'm gonna grab that beautiful gold eyeshadow it's nice and shimmery and I'm just going to pop that all over the eyelid not going above the crease and you guys as for the eye makeup look today I'm just keeping it a little bit more on the simple side because my hair is already loud enough okay so I don't want my eyes to be super duper dramatic but I do want a little bit of drama so I'm just gonna create a wing liner today and I'm using the NYX matte black liquid liner it's my absolute favorite Moving on to lashes, I'm gonna use the Batty B Lashes in Extra. And I applied my lash glue, so I'm just gonna apply it as close to my lash line as possible. You know you got skills when you can put your lashes on with your cat sitting in your lap. <laughs> Now we're gonna move on to the face. My skin is super, super dry right now because that's the season. It's the dry weather season. And I'm gonna use some Nivea cream and apply this all over my face. And then I'm gonna go in with some Huda Beauty primer. This is my absolute favorite primer. It keeps my makeup on longer. And I just love this product so much. So now I'm gonna go in with my favorite foundation. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation Stick. I used two different shades. I'm just gonna list it in the description bar down below. And I'm just gonna apply it all over my face face you guys now I forgot to do one step I forgot to do my color correcting under my eyes and honestly I can see a huge difference when I don't do it my dark circles were peeping through a little bit okay I need to color correct but I forgot the step but anyways I'm just gonna go in with a foundation brush this one is from real techniques and apply this all over my face 
Now we are moving on to concealer. We are gonna go ahead and highlight. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I use two shades, Warm Sand and Sand. I mix them together because the Warm Sand is just a little dark on me for highlighting and the Sand is a little too light. So I gotta mix them together like I'm a chemist to get the right shade. So I apply it under my eyes, down my nose, and my forehead. And I'm gonna go in with this concealer brush from the Jaclyn Morphe Hill Morphe. <laughs> I can't even say it Morphe brush collection and blend that in and I also go in with my beauty blender sponge as well and I really love cream contouring so I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty matchsticks in the shade truffle and I apply it in the hollows of my cheeks along the jawline the forehead and I'm just gonna go ahead and use that same brush to blend I also go in with my beauty blender sponge as well to blend some more and now we're gonna go ahead and set and lock everything into place I'm using the Huda Beauty Bake powder. I think this is in the shade Blondie, and I'm using a big powder brush also from Morphe. And I don't bake my under eyes, so I just set and unlock everything with just a little bit of powder under the eyes. And just moving on to bronzer, I'm gonna use the Matte Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. I also use this to contour, applied in the hollows of my cheek along my forehead. It's really gonna warm up my skin. And I use the MAC 134 brush. I'm also gonna go back in with that powder just to carve out them cheeks so my face looks snatched. I also place that powder by the sides of my nose as well to give my nose a contour. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows really quickly, the top of my brows. And I only leave the powder on for maybe five minutes and then I'm gonna dust away all that excess powder because honey, we don't need that anymore. Then I'm gonna go in with some MAC Fix Plus Spray, just apply this all over the face just to get rid of that dusty, powdery look because we don't wanna look dusty and powdery. Moving on to highlighter, I'm gonna take one of my favorite highlighters. Can you tell us one of my favorites? It's old, it's dusty, it's broken. This is from MAC Cosmetics. This is their My Mimi highlighter from the Mariah Carey collection. And I'm just gonna apply this on the highest point of my cheekbones. Look at that glow. But I'm extra, so I'm gonna use two highlighters. I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Master Chrome and just apply that on top of my cheekbones as well. All right, so we're going back into that same Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna take that dark chocolatey brown and just run it along my bottom lash line. I'm not gonna smoke it out. I just want a little bit of the shadow onto the lash line. And then I'm gonna apply some mascara to my teeny tiny lashes. Moving on to lips, I'm just gonna take a brown lip pencil. I can't remember the name of this, but I'll put it in the description bar down below. I'm just gonna line my lips, and then I'm gonna go in with some lip gloss. I'm using MAC Myth Lip Gloss. And then we're gonna move on to blush. I'm taking my favorite blush palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Radiant Blush, and I'm using the Peachy Tone to apply to the apples of my cheeks. All right, so this makeup look is pretty much completed. Now we're gonna move on to the hair. This hair would actually look good half up, half down, right? What do you guys think? Let me know. But I'm gonna go ahead and curl it because you guys see me rock my hair straight pretty much in all the hair videos that I've done so far. So today I'm gonna be using a curling one. This is from Remington. I got this at Walmart like maybe three, four years ago. So I don't remember which one it is exactly, but I really, really love it. It's amazing. So I'm just wrapping the hair around the curling one away from my face. You guys, I can be honest with you right now. I am not a professional when it comes to hair. I'm just a girl doing her thing, trying a thing, okay? So I don't even really like curling my hair that much, to be honest with you, because I feel like I suck at it. But you know what? It turned out pretty good in this video. It turned out good today. So practice makes perfect. I'll get better at this. So yeah, I'm just wrapping the hair around the wand. I let it sit for about maybe 10 to 15 seconds. And ooh, look at those curls. And yeah, it's pretty much repetitive. I'm doing the same steps over and over. So just wrap the hair around the wand, let it sit for 10 to 15 seconds, and then let it go. And you guys, as for this hair color, I will let you know right now because as you guys see this video, I've had this hair for about two days now. And this color, it does bleed, okay? So you need like a sealer to seal the hair so the color lasts longer. So that's something I'm gonna have to get. Um, if you guys know a good hair sealer, comment down below and let me know. So the hair is pretty much done. I'm gonna add, all right, so we're done curling the hair. I'm gonna add some, all right, my hair it is looking good. I'm gonna add some hairspray. I'm gonna use the Got To Be Free Spray. That way my curls can last longer. And I apply some of that spray at the very front, at the top, just to give it a little oomph, a little volume on the top. 
So this is pretty much the final look. I really love how this look turned out. I love this hair. If you guys are feeling it, comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comment section. I love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching. Bye.